hot up in here. It's great thumbnail. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? It's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in trouble for that. What do they call that? Copyrighted. They're gonna think it's really Nelly singing. How's that for a thumbnail? <laughs> Alright guys. I'm just clowning around. It's freaking hot in here. Okay. Tackle junkies. What is going on everyone? Truly appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. This is what really everyone's favorite video. The Tackle Warehouse Unboxing from Black Friday, which is the main box. We got some more stuff from Berkeley. We got some stuff from Six Sense. I figured we'd do it all in one. Those two rods did come in as well. But I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals watching the videos. These unboxing videos kind of like bring my channel back to life. So I truly appreciate you tackle junkies watching these videos, liking the videos, leaving comments that help push the videos. I truly appreciate it, but enough jaw jacking, let's hop into it real fast. You guys know when I do all of these unboxing videos, I'm normally selling tackle to pay for um, the new equipment that I buy. I got a few more brand new inbox Akuma Helios SX reels. I think I got one in, uh, or two in six speed, one in a seven speed. They're like $230 reels. So again, new inbox. Uh, I want 130 shipped for them, and I got two... Shimano Sahara 500 series uh, spinning reels, great for panfish or ice fishing or whatever, um, or just really light line. But anyways, 500 series spinning reels, I think like 50 bucks piece shipped for those will do. Unless you want them both, I'll make you a better deal. I might have a 13 fishing concept A um, new in box as well. I may let that one go too. Let me know. Email me, message me, whatever. Anyways, let's hop into it. Let's go with the Berkeley stuff. First, because you guys have already seen this stuff, or some of the stuff, in one of the previous videos. If you haven't, check it out. But this is kind of like the um, majority of the stuff that was on back order from that order. And first up, we have some of the Power Stingers, which is the, uh, the trailer they came up with for the bladed jig, which is their slobber knocker. These are the 3.5 color is Electric Shad electric shad and I'm going to use these just for what they're you know what they're meant to be the the trailer for the bladed jig I may try them on a scrounger head as well that's why I got both sizes there and we'll see if this smaller size does fit well on the bladed jig it might might work well on the little mini max too but um normally I throw like a four inch trailer on like a three eighths or a half ounce anyways a couple packs of those 3.5 and the electric shad uh, we got the uh, Chapo 75 in Bone. That's going to be a good one right there. Bone, Chapo 75. And the rest of these are the, these are the Fritz Side 5. Uh, these are the clicking, so they got the rattles in them. Clicking, I got a two here and the special red craw, two of those here. Make sure the colors look good for you guys one reason i like to do these videos is because colors are not all that great on like tackle warehouse and all that really what it is they look different from one website to another so like what color are they right so anyways that's exactly how it looks in person how you guys see it right there special red craw a couple of those we got a couple uh, i really like this one here a couple here in the midnight pearl just a good looking shad pattern there Midnight Pearl. Midnight Pearl, couple of those. A uh, couple of the chartreuse, probably chartreuse, black back. Chartreuse, yeah, black back there. A couple of those there. A couple of the Root Beer Crawl, really like this one, Root Beer Crawl. It's got like some green, I guess kind of like a greenish brown back, green flake, chartreuse side, orange belly. Really, really digging that color. That's That color right there really popping that muddier water. Really digging that color there. Okay. 
And this one's pretty cool too. This one here is the Red Spring Crawl. Red Spring Crawl. Red Spring Crawl. Oh yeah, digging that one. I love this camera for uh, these types of videos. But like I said before, it just doesn't have a real, real wide angle to it. But yeah, that's all I got um, there from Berkeley. That was my, my back order stuff. I think I still got some spinner baits on back order, but other than that, that's that big order that I made. I'm really looking forward to trying out a lot of this stuff next year. You guys know I, I'm one of them guys I can just put on a square bill and crank all day with it and forget to try new things. But that's something I'm really going to focus on next year is kind of like um, on the days that I work. And this is really what I used to do. Now that I'm getting older, I like to sleep in. <laughs> I like to sleep in a lot. But if I can get up early and up for work, I would like to tie on different things each time I go out. And I'll do that on the days that I'm working, you know, kind of before work that way when I'm off. The new things are already tied on, you know, so I'm, that's kind of my plan. Normally I'm rushing and, uh, you know, I'm doing everything the same day that I'm going fishing and I like heck with it. And I just, I use what I got tied on. I'm really going to put some thought into what I tie on uh, this coming season. I really want to do more reviews. Like I said, you know, because you guys really aren't into the fishing videos. Um, and, and I'm not either. I don't really watch much of them either. I like to see what guys are using, why they're using it. So that's really what I want to focus more on is is the gear and baits themselves not so much catching fish and i hate that guys always look at it like oh is this bait any good um you didn't catch any fish on of course all these baits are going to catch fish i'm just not that great a fisherman for one and two i don't fish that great of lakes but um, i want to focus more on the baits themselves and the gear and if i don't catch fish big deal we're just going to talk about the bait itself that's maybe what i do too i may just like pick a reel spool it up and go to the lake even if i don't catch any fish on it we don't need to test out the drags and all that. I'm sure all reels these days have solid drags. So we'll just kind of do like first impressions of each new reel that I picked up. Things like that. Just kind of let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in something like that. Is that my address up here, boy? What? All right. Blade of the day. Blade of the day. We have the Buck Mini Deploy. Check this out. Watch yourself. <laughs> Buck Mini Deploy. This box here is from Six Cents. Got a few things in here. What I really wanted from them was their spinner baits, but they were out of stock, so we'll get them next time. But of course, I picked up some other goodies as well. Make sure my address ain't in view. My wife don't like that. Then she's got to try and blur it out and all that. All right, put that down there. Not too much stuff in here. I guess it all comes in a bag or something. A little six sack or something. What is this? I guess I got a little um, free pack of drop shot hooks that I probably will not use. I'm not much of a drop shotter, but I guess that's a free little gift. Thank you, Six Cents. I want to say um, majority. So I think I got twenty five percent off. They had their you know Black Friday sale. It's kind of funny because I was going to buy some of this at Tackle Warehouse, and I think some of it at Tackle Warehouse was only giving me like 15% off. Maybe it was 20 but like I said, you actually saved more over there buying direct, so that's what we did. All right, first up, first up we have some of the, these look a little bigger than I was hoping for. These look just like the, um, the other ones that I have. I thought these were supposed to be smaller. Maybe not. I don't know. But these are the, I like this color though. These are the Six Cents Flat Finesse F4, half ounce, um, two and a half inches, dive four to six feet. I don't know why I thought these were much smaller and dived a little less, but it is what it is. We'll play around with those. This color is pretty cool though. Uh, fire water. Fire water. It's kind of got like a darker back to it and kind of fades into like a brighter red. Kind of neat there. You guys can see that there. Yeah, I'm digging that. Fire water. And you'll see here, trying a new bait out. Never tried this bait out before. I tried one of their other flat sides. Again, I thought this was a smaller one compared to the one that I have. Maybe it ain't. But anyways, trying a new bait out. You can see here we have a craw type color. We have a shad color, which this one is called wild shad. Digging that one. That's pretty cool. Wild shad. Not really much color on it, but that kind of pearl side will really pop in that muddier water. Wild shad. So you have your craw, you got your shad, 
and then something with chartreuse in it. That's, that's the three main colors that I'll try. Digging this one, it's got, um, looks like a black stripe down the back, blue, fades into chartreuse, kind of green chartreuse, and then an orange belly. Let's take this one out. It's a cool looking color. It really reminds me kind of like a fire tiger type color, but this is the chartreuse color that I picked. Man, I'm digging that. That's one thing about Six Sense, man, that you got to hand it to them. They got some pretty slick paint jobs on there. But yeah, I'm digging that. Oh yeah, that color. That color's pretty fire, man. That'll show up really well in them mud holes. Those are definitely not uh, mustads. I don't know what's, what kind of hook that is on there. Mustads, they don't have that little curved. You guys can even see that. Say hey, those tips are curved. It's a short shank, but that is definitely not a mustad. Sticky sharp though. I'm not sure what it is. I thought they used to be mustads. I don't know. I'm not really a huge uh, six cents guy. A lot of you guys asked for videos on the stuff, so I picked them up. But like I said, I'm not sure what hook that is. If you guys know, let me know down below. Yeah, I don't know. It's sharp though. It'll work. So, anyways, some of those we got. Now these I am excited about. These are their new swim jig, and I got trailers for these. I didn't really care for their swim baits all that much, so I got some different trailers in the old Tackle Warehouse box. But these are the um, Axle Swinging Swim Jig, okay? Same kind of deal. I got a white, which this one is called um, Pro Blue Shad, so some sort of shad white type color. That is a big old hook in there. I just noticed that. That's like a, what, a six? Yeah, six eye hook. That's a big hook. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're picking out a trailer. That's a that's a beefy old hook there. Three-eighths ounce is what I got. Six eye hook. And it looks like it got a little, like, wire or screw type deal there. A little screw keeper. So it should hold the bait on there pretty good. But anyways, pro, pro blue shad. Um, we got something with chartreuse in it. Which is Shad Truce. I'm digging that one. Shad Truce. Shad Truce. Of course, the black and blue for the dirtier water. Black and blue, nothing too special there. Just a black and blue, darker color. And then I did get a bluegill color. I like this one here. This one's called uh, Bluegill Fire. Bluegill Fire. You kind of see there. How that hook kind of like swings. See, it's kind of like a, a little hinge deal there. Let's just take this one out so you can see it. Get out of there. You can kind of see uh, how the head moves there. It's pretty, it's pretty slick, you know. Assuming that gives it more action or kind of, I guess, kind of like a wobble head, right? Have you guys used these before? So anyways, there it is. Bluegill fire. Make sure it focuses for you guys. All right. So four of the swim jigs there. All right, we'll put that away later. What else did we get in there? Then I guess just some soft plastics. Let's see what we got here. That's it. Um, these are the jungle minnow, and I was thinking. For these, I guess I only got three colors of these. What is that? Okay, that's right. Forgot to order those. These are cool. I'm definitely liking the looks of these, like the size. I was thinking for these, same type of deal as the Power Stingers. I was thinking, um, you know, bladed jig trailer or I was thinking scrounger head. I'm definitely digging these, like the size. Um, probably for the Mini Max, it's definitely too big. But yeah, scrounger head would be great, or just probably one of your standard size um, bladed jigs. The body, it ain't huge, but I think it'll work. I guess I should show it to you guys, right? Um, color is um, 4K Shad. Definitely love the color. Love the color there. 4K Shad. 4K Shad. Again, that is the Jungle Minnow 4.0. Uh, we got a black and blue color. Again, we're trying to imitate shad. You know, dirty water, the black and blue. Black and blue there. And then, of course, bluegill. And this color is uh, pumpkin, pumpkin seed sunfish. 
Pumpkin seed sunfish. Good looking color there. Pumpkin seed sunfish. And like I said, I'm looking at the color, looking at there in the camera, and that's definitely exactly what it looks like there. So, pumpkin seed sunfish. Then we got uh, these are the the tubes. They call them a uh, crub, crub. Yeah, crub 3.0. The Krub 3.0. Black and blue, you guys know I'm a huge tube fisherman, love fishing tubes. Believe it or not, anyone that's new to the channel or knows how much I like to crank, years ago I never even touched a crankbait. Like, never. All I did was like fish tubes. I love fishing tubes. Black and blue, this one here is called um, Far, or Fire Craw. Fire Craw. Let's take one out for you guys to see it there. Fire craw. It's pretty small. Pretty small. Probably need like a two odd hook in that. Yeah, maybe a three, most likely a two odd in that. But it's um it's hollow. I mean the tip, the very tip, like the second rib feels kind of solid. Other than that, it's it's hollow. But yeah, that'd be a good looking uh a good little like pitching and flipping type tube. Loving the color. Yeah, I like that. They did a did a nice job with that. That is the um, the fire crawl. They didn't really have a huge uh, huge color selection. At least colors that'll work for me. Uh, again, that is the fire crawl, and I got black and blue. So, and then last we got uh, four colors here of the uh, the Bongo 3.7. Uh, this is kind of like a, like a Rage Menace. Basically, or like the um, the one from Biospawn, very similar. Black and blue here. We'll take one out in a different color, so you guys can see it. Black and blue. Um, boiled crawfish. Boiled crawfish. We'll take out, like I said, uh, one of these here, so you guys can actually see the profile of the bait. Um, platinum white. Platinum white. And this one here, this one doesn't really look like the website for sure. I may have messed up on this color here. And this was one I think I kept going back and forth with uh, from Tackle Warehouse to Six Cents. And like I said, this one does not um, look like how we did online. But there it is there. Good looking bluegill type color. What's this color even called? 4K Sunfish. Not bad. I mean, it'll still work. But um, it's definitely not how it looked online. Definitely pretty light. 4K sunfish. Probably put that like on a ball head or a swim jig. It'll still look good like on a like a bluegill um, color swim jig. But yeah, even like a, just a green pumpkin, whatever. But yeah, color looks a bit different. A bit different there compared to how I thought. And that's exactly how it looks here, how you guys are seeing it. That's how it looks for me, too. Definitely, it's pretty pretty light. I thought it was a bit more bold than that, but it'll still work. The uh, The main lakes that I fish, you guys know that. They're they're fairly muddy, but the ponds are, are pretty clear, so it'll be, be more of a, probably a pond bait for me. But we'll see. Want these claws to be all bent up and, and not kick, so. Okay. And that is it for six cents. So now for now for the goods. Now for the goods. And of course, you guys seen that when I took it out of the uh, the box. There came in a little little bag there. So okay, now for the goods, boys, boys and girls, boys and girls. Tackle warehouse. I guess we can put this down here, make it a bit easier. Okay. Trash, trash, trash. Receipt. Uh, looks like return label. Sticker. Sticker. Okay. Free shirt. Free t-shirt. I think you spend 150 bucks, you get a free t-shirt. Got this one for Big Mike. 
Okay. Let's go with really, I guess, what's right on top here. We did a video. We did a video on scales not too long ago. I'm trying to think which one I was using. I guess we were talking about the Guggen scale in that um, in that video. And uh, I asked you guys, I asked you guys in that video if you wanted me to try out a different scale. And some of you guys had mentioned this one as well. I mentioned this one. This is kind of one I was curious about. This is the same scale that they use on MLF. This is not the MLF edition. I believe the MLF edition came with the um, the gripper. And obviously it says MLF on it. I think it weighs up to like, I don't know, 50 something pounds. I don't know, something like that. But um, anyways, I went with just the standard one. It was a bit cheaper too. But this is the Brecknell, um, Brecknell scale at 22 pound. So there it is right there. So I would think really anything that you weigh on this should be dang near, you know, right on. So comes with a little bag there. You can see it doesn't come with a, cl a clamp on there or a fish gripper, which I'm going to add one. So, anyways, first up we have the Brecknell, I think I'm saying that right, the Brecknell scale, which is the scale they use on MLF. And along with that, we also got a little Brecknell, um, it's a little bitty scale, just to weigh jigs and things like that. I'm sure you guys all have tungsten weights or jig heads and you don't know really what they weigh. So. Like I said, I got a little scale here because I have the same problem. Hey, what's this way? What, what is it? Whatever. So I've got a little scale here. So now we know. Might be cool too for reels and spools and things like that. So anyways, little scale. If you guys didn't know that, Tackle Warehouse now uh, carries these little scales. So that's pretty cool. I want to say this one was 25 bucks. I think I got five bucks off with the sale. So, Okay. Big bottle here of KVD line and lure, which is line conditioner. It's kind of funny. Um, what were those hooks called? Um, I don't know what they were called. You guys told me to try them from owner. What were they called? I don't have them hanging up there. Thought I did. Yeah, I do. The Haymaker. I ordered some Haymaker hooks. Gosh, I think it was like April of May. April of May this year. And I only got the 5 out, And I haven't used that hook yet because I didn't really need the 5 out. I need the 3 and 4 out. But in that order, 3 and 4 out were on back order. They're still on back order. And I called in back in like May and said, hey, add some KVD line and lure to that order. Um, and whatever it ships, obviously, they'll ship this. You pay for it, whatever. You can add things to your back order. Those hooks are still back ordered. So when the sale got here, obviously, I canceled this on that back order and just ordered through the sale and actually got um, the discount on it. So anyways, this KVD line and lure. First time buying the big bottle. This is uh, 16 ounces. A lot of you guys have messaged me, left comments and all that. Hey, fluorocarbon's a pain in the butt. What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. Condition your line. It's the first thing I ask you guys. If you're having issues with your fluorocarbon, if you've not conditioned your line, most likely that is your problem. Condition the line. The first application you want it to dry on your line. So go ahead and spool your line up. You don't have to spray it as you do it. You don't have to take it off. You don't have to run it through a rag. I've seen guys do a bunch of different things. You don't have to do that. Spool your line on your reel. Okay. Spray the conditioner on the line. Just rotate the spool a couple times. The way you got it fully coated. Let it dry on your line for the first application, and you're good to go after that. Um, after that, you can kind of spray it as you go. Um, or as you feel you need it. But for the first application, let it dry on your line and it'll take out a majority of that memory. It'll leave your line kind of feeling like silk. KVD line and lure, fantastic line conditioner. Okay, we got some, pull these out here. Oh, wadded fishing. I'm no longer gonna lose to you, man. You got your little secret here. I thought I got more than that. Maybe I didn't. I thought I got two of each. What do I have here? Six, 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 four, four. What did I order here? I may got an extra one. I don't know. BMC two and two. Yeah, so I got an extra pack. Cool. And size six, which I'll use a lot. Okay, these are the VMC short shank bladed. Trouble hooks, all right, bladed trouble hooks. Now, um, 
You know what, by looking at this hook with that curved in tip there, I'd have to say the six inch trebles could be a VMC. It looks like a VMC uh, treble. Most likely it is. Okay, anyways, I was at Ken Kid Lake. Ken Cade Lake, a couple months ago. And of course, I was shallow cranking. I was with old wadded fishing. And believe it or not, that dude beat me. We are both cranking KVD 1.5s, gizzard, shad, rattling, same exact bait. I even watched that fool go down the same bank that I just went down, okay, and catch two or three fish, <clears throat> catch two or three fish after me, and I had to catch nothing. And the only difference is that stupid little blade, right? We thought for a second he was using different pound test, because that would have made a big deal, because I was using 15. If he was using 12, he would have got probably a foot deeper than me. But like I said, I, I believe it was the same pound test. The only difference was that little bitty blade. And I lost and had to buy lunch. So I said, no more. I picked up some of these. I got the two packs here in six, which I like a six short shank for like um, the bomber square A type size, that smaller size. And then I got some size fours, size fours here. And this is what I'll use for like a 1.5 size. I don't believe he was using the VMCs. I think maybe he was using like a decoy or something like that. And he had it on the back. I may try this on the front. Um, see if they uh, they choke it just a bit better there. So anyways, some VMC short shank um, bladed trebles there. Okay. Then we got, uh, how many packs of these did I get? I thought maybe I got three packs of these. Um, what I get? Yeah, just two packs of these. These are the size two owner split rings. They used to be a 20 pack. Now they're a 16. So it looks like they cut back a little bit. I think they've been 16 though for a while. But um, I don't change split rings that often. But when I do, the owner size two is really the main one that I use for all of my bombers. I put on size two, just because I'm trying to put on just a bit bigger hook. And I think they come with a three, I put on a two, the way the treble hooks don't tangle. But really for any um, crankbait, and I need if I need a different split ring, I'm using these right here. Not too often I put on a three. The two does the job for me. Again, owner, size two, couple packs of those. You guys asked about these as well. These are the Hellraiser. The Hellraiser from Z-Man, a little top water deal there. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, kind of, kind, of, kind of goofy looking, but it's pretty cool if you see them in the water. Um, this one is the Matte Black, Matte Black Hellraiser. And then, uh, then we got uh, Bone, Bone. Two great colors for top water. A black and some sort of white. That's all you really need. Man, I'm sure you guys see me stretching my neck and all that out. My son was sick, so I had to work by myself yesterday. And I'm feeling it. <laughs> I am feeling it. Okay. Um, a couple spinner baits here. Oh, you know what? I did have uh, three things on back order. I don't believe they're on here. Um, yes, they are on here. Did they ship them? No, they did not. Their order, yes. They are the Rapala OG, the Rock 05. So the new square bill from Rapala. I ordered three of those. Uh, Classic Craw, Tuxedo Shad, Chartreuse Root Beer Craw Dad. And I don't believe they're um, they're in stock yet. So I don't believe they were even available when I ordered them. I think it's like you could you could like pre-order or whatever. So that's what I did. Anyways, I got three of those coming. So we can review those as well next season. One of my favorite spinner baits here. From Molux, these are the Molux, so these are the FS spinnerbait. It's a half ounce, but it's like a, um, a compact, compact spinnerbait. You guys always see me using the white ones and the chartreuse and white. Usually get them from Carl's, but they didn't have these colors, so I picked them up from Old Tackle Warehouse. Purple Shiner, definitely digging that one there. Again, half ounce, but it's a small size there. Compact spinnerbait. And then we have the um, Hot Craw. Digging that one there. Hot crawl. Gold blades. Willows. Cool. Digging that one. 
Okay, we got some of the, these are the, um, the Dean Rojas Speed Demon 55. Definitely loving that size. That's cool. This color is called the um, Delta Red Crawl. Delta Red Crawl. Delta Red Crawl. These go three to five feet. Again, a craw color. Shad color here. I really couldn't tell what this color was online. I thought it was chrome. I think it's just... You know, it could be chrome because I kind of see a reflection in it. It might be chrome. I thought it was silver, like a matte, because it's even called laundry matte. So I was thinking like it was a matte silver. But looking at it now, I believe it's a like a chrome, which it is, which will definitely work. I don't have many chrome uh, square bills. But if you're curious, yeah, that definitely looks like a chrome because I can see my handsome self in it. But yeah, good looking color. Guys probably like, how much coffee did you drink this morning? They got rattles? I didn't even look for that. They do. I thought they did. They do. Ouch. Sorry if the focus was in and out for you guys on that one. Anyways, definitely, definitely like a chrome. Digging that one for sure. It's not like a matte silver, which was what I thought it was on Tackle Warehouse. And then we got um, the chartreuse color, which is chartreuse blue. I just figured if I get myself a craw, my shad, and a chartreuse, if, you know, one of those three colors don't work, then it's either me or it's the bait, right? So I figure I'm kind of covered with those three colors. Okay. Next we got some uh, razor shads, which is a bladed jig trailer from Z-Man in Fire Crawl. Gotta have that red craw for springtime. Me personally, I use it all year long. That color shows up really well in that muddier water. But yeah, a little bladed jig trailer there. The Fire Crawl. Then we got um, some Yamamoto stuff in here. I haven't bought Yamamoto in a while. Looks like they got some new packaging here. I don't remember which ones I all got. Um, let's see here. This is the uh, Fire Crawl, the Zacco, in a 4 inch. Yamamoto Zacco 4 inch. Also got the 3 inch. Again, I may try these on a little, um, on a little uh, scrounger head. This one right here, this size, most likely will work well on the Mini Max. It's pretty small. Digging that there. Digging that there. Zacco, three inch. Um, Fire Crawl, also got a three inch in the cream white. Cream white and the black and blue. Okay. And then we got a four inch here in the Tennessee Shad. Tennessee Shad. I see a little better there. There you go. A little Tennessee Shad. Tennessee Shad action. Okay, then these here are pretty cool. These are, and some of you guys asked about these, these are the Yamamoto Bates Slinko. And I do believe it's these, help me out guys, I think it's three baits that have this new formula. I think, I think it floats. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it floats. It's these, I believe they have a Ned bait and then I think the new craw. So I'm, I'm going to pick up that craw as well. But these are the 5.5 Slinko floater. So we got a black and blue. Got to get the black and blue for that muddier water. Black and blue. Oh, I'm digging this one here. It's cool. Cool color here. Um, this one is peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Kind of like a June bug. June bug cinnamon type color. That'll show up well for me. And then, yeah, this one will too. I like I like this one a lot too. Um, chartreuse pumpkin. Chartreuse pumpkin. So I'll probably use them for like, I don't know, a shaky head. Um, 
Nico rig, something like that. Um, there's a floater, so I imagine if you're going to use this on a wacky rig, you're going to want some weight to it. I might imagine. So anyways, we'll play around with these. And guys, let me know down below if there's anything like specific you're really looking forward um, to as far as a review goes. You guys know I'm, I'm excited to get out there and use this stuff and do reviews for you guys. I just need to know which ones you guys are most excited about. And these here are the trailers I picked up for those Six Sense, uh, Six Sense swim jigs. So this one here for the black and blue, obviously I got the black, blue, deep blue um, Kitek 4.8 there. It kind of looks more purple to me almost, but it's, it is blue. In person, I'm going to say this looks more purple in person. Looks a bit more blue on camera. For the black and blue, for the black and blue, for that uh, pro blue color, where's that pro blue color at? Um, pro blue color. For that pro blue color there, we got um, pro blue shiner, which that will look fantastic. A lot of flick on that belly. Good looking natural type color there. And then for the chartreuse color, we got um, chartreuse shad. Chartreuse shad. I just wasn't a big fan of the, um, the Six Sense swim baits. Then I didn't really think they had a great color selection either, to be honest with you. And this one here, I probably could have used, um, what do I have at home? I think it's Pro Staff Special. It's kind of funny, all the colors I thought they discontinued, I, th I guess they brought back. Um, even Black Shad. So a um, big shout out to Kitek for that one. Love that color. After I bought like, you know, 30 packs of them because I thought they were going to be discontinued. They're back now, I believe. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is, this is um, Green Pumpkin Fire. Which, like I said, I probably could have used the um, the Pro Staff Special because it looks very similar. I actually think the Pro Staff Special, the orange is much brighter, and I thought this one was going to be bright, and it really it ain't. But that one is Green Pumpkin Fire there. Green Pumpkin Fire. Okay. And guys, that is it. That is it. I got the other two rods I can show you guys. And then I want you guys to let me know down below, like I said, what you guys are really looking forward to as far as reviews go. So let me know. Let me grab the two rods. I'll be right back. All right. For the first rod here, we have the Skipping Rod. This is the Team Lose Signature Series Andy Montgomery Skipping Rod. I believe there was two options, a 6.9. I think it was a 7.1. If you're a shorter guy, go for the shorter rod. If you're a taller guy, obviously get the longer rod there. Anyway, 6.9. It is a heavy power, fast action uh, line rating looks like 16 to 30. Uh, lure rating looks like um, can't really read upside down there. Looks like a quarter, quarter to an ounce and a half. But yeah, this is the signature series. Love the wind grips on there. All around, um, nice looking rod, nice feeling rod in hand. Light. And I bought the um, the skip and reel. I think it's called the SP. I think bought the skip and reel for uh, for this rod. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out. And then the other one that I got was I think this is the Kevin Van Dam, the Team Lose Signature Series Kevin Van Dam. Uh, what do they call it? The spinnerbait target casting rod. And like I said in that video, this could be the same rod as his actual red rods. I don't know, but it's, it's a really versatile rod, so I picked this one up as well. But um, it is a medium heavy power, fast action, line rating 10 to 30, lure rating quarter, quarter to two ounce. You know what? Probably is the same rod because I think that rod had the same spec on it. And I was kind of shocked on that one, too. It's kind of a weird, weird range there. Quarter to two ounce. So I'm looking at that right. Let me make sure. Quarter. Quarter to two ounce. So they're saying this rock can handle a two ounce, which is which is pretty unusual for a seven foot medium heavy. So anyways, there she is. Again, wind grip, same series. Very comfortable rod in hand. Still debating which reel I'm going to put on uh, this rod here. But anyways, you guys now know that I have them. So it'll be another review we can do in the near future. 
Guys, that should wrap her up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals. If you're still here, I'm not sure how long this video is. I'm sure it's long. If you're still here, leave me a fist bump or something down below so I know who the um, the real fans of the channel are, or I guess the real fans of these types of videos. Anyways, you guys are awesome. Smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.